<laughs> um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves as usual uh, in a little bit, uh, not right away until that will be after we eat. But uh, there are a couple people again that uh, we'd like to recognize. We'd like to recognize our Mayor Pro Tem Tom Chavez and his wife Jane. <laughs> Maybe before. <laughs> and do you know what he's talking about? <laughs> yes. Well, no. He, they, well, I was referring to two things actually. When are they coming to council table? Oh, I, I was thinking of council meeting. That's in two weeks. I think. Yeah, probably two weeks ago. But then we're going to chaperone you guys, Jane and I, in uh, October, 9th, weeks, I think, October 9th. October yeah. 9th. Yeah. So All right. forward to that. I won't disclose where we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jerry Jambasian, our photographer, right here. And let's see, we've got a couple of, okay, I, I know that last time I, I went around, I said we've got our alumni, you know, like Nathan over there. Right, Nathan, raise your hand, okay. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and let's see, I'm looking around, and I'm not seeing anybody except for Kelsey. And Kelsey, see right here, who went to Australia. And uh, Angie, Angie Gomez here. Uh, would you like to introduce your guests? Uh, please, if I may. Sure. Um, you know, I serve on the Southern California chapter of the umbrella organizations of numerous sister cities, and we had a board meeting in Santa Clarita this morning. And uh, I invited the newly elected young man here, AJ, from Northern California, when we had our conference in San Jose. Every year, Sister Cities International puts on a conference, and anybody can go. Uh, there's a special youth leadership summit. Last year was in San Antonio. This year was in San Jose. And next year it'll be in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, whatever, Minneapolis, Minnesota. But most of the new people will be in Australia. But for those that you've already gone, you might want to consider going to Minneapolis, Minnesota. But I want to introduce to you the youth that represents uh, most of the sister city programs in USA because he applied and he won against the girl from Arkansas. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for having me. Come right here. So, thank you guys for having me, and thanks to Angie for inviting me because uh, we had this meeting this morning. But this is the fun part of the day. So, um, that's great to be with all you guys, and it's going to be fun meeting all you guys. So, um, like Angie said, uh, I encourage you to get involved nationally with the Sister Cities program. It's uh, it'll be a lot of fun. You, one, you can create a great network for yourself, and you can also uh, you can also make a great impact on the whole program itself. And definitely, the way to do that, the way to start, is going to the annual conference. And if you don't have anywhere to be in July, that's great. Minnesota, <laughs> we'll, we'll love to host you. And uh, so basically, uh, try to get involved with that, and I'm sure you'll have a blast. Uh, we had it at San Jose this um, this August, and that conference went smooth, and it was great. So we had lots of fun. Uh, I think you guys should just keep doing what you're doing. I've heard lots of great things about Temple uh, City Sister Cities program, and uh, I've heard lots of great things about the city council and the mayor. Have you uh, seen the YouTubes on them? Yes, I, I've seen the photographer's YouTube channel as well. So, yeah, but you guys are doing a great job because of, and your city's really supportive. I've heard that they fund lots of your scholarships. So you guys are like a role model sister cities program and I encourage you to spread what you're doing throughout the nation. And so just keep doing what you're doing and try, try to get involved even more and try to get more people involved and uh, get them doing what you're doing. Thank so you. when his term is up in two years, you can run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you introduce your dad? Oh, yeah. This is my dad, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Raj Chahal. I'm a vice president of Sister Cities at Declara, and I serve on the North Cal Board of Sister Cities. All right. <laughs> Okay, without further ado, Aussies and American kids, let's see. Call this the, the Mitzi and Jenny show. 
Um, yeah. Mitzi Frank. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, take it away, ladies. So if we start singing, well, I would clear out the room. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'd like to thank everybody for coming. Um, and what I wanted really to start with, with is to really thank the host families as I'm kind of going around and trying to make sure I have the name straight. Um, Mark, and stand up. Lisa, Mark and Lisa are opening their house. Bettina and Kent, and then Shilpa and Nitten, Nick and Lena, thank you, it's like, I went oh, here. around, it's like, I'm missing one, and why am I not missing that one, and then Katie and Andrew. Yeah. You guys are an integral part to this. Um, without our host families, we really wouldn't be able to really run the program. So thank you very much. And I, I know you guys are going to enjoy the next four weeks if you haven't already enjoyed yourself the last three days. Um, yes, we had an exciting Wednesday morning as Nancy, Steve, Jenny, and I drove down to the airport received our guests, took them home, kind of fed them lunch, and then they just kind of all passed out through the house. <laughs> so it was kind of nice. That, well, I think it was nice, and it kind of worked, and we'll see how it went, because I actually liked when the kids started arriving. It's like, no, they're in that room. No, they're in there. People running through the house and waking up the Rossi. So it's like, welcome to all of them. And then, Angie, I'd like to thank you again for today. It was really exciting. It, Interesting, and we learned a lot about the Rose Bowl today. He had a true guy from Temple, Temple, Temple City. City. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. His daughter, I think, is in the band and all part of the thing. Brighter so side. Like brighter, brighter, brighter side. side. Brighter side. Yeah. Brighter side. Yeah. Brighter side. <laughs> Sam. 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 Awesome. I don't know. Who is it? Hobson. All right. With that one, no one really wants to listen to me anymore. So if I can have my Aussies come on up. <laughs> Rachel's real excited. I am. Well, we it out. If you just call on Nathan, Nathan, Rachel, 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 you'll be okay this year. Yeah. <laughs> There's three Rachels, you said, or two? Three. 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 Yeah. Three. Rachel's here, Rachel, and Nathan's me, Rachel. And two Nathans. And, yeah, two Nathans. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, no. Well, hello everyone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rachel Bilhau. I am 16 years old and my birthday is on the 25th of July. I just want to say thank you Sister City Association for allowing me to come to your home and school to, um, to experience your environment and the way you all live. In Australia, my school is called Under Anglican College, located in the Hawkesbury. I'm in year 10 at the moment with a great bunch of friends who I enjoy hanging with. I have represented the school in many sports, including netball, cross country, swimming, athletics, soccer, and I've completed the bronze Duke of, Ed Duke of Edinburgh and currently completing the silver. My hobbies include snow skiing and many, many more. Outside of schools, outside of school on the weekend, I play netball for Pitt Town Oakville Penguins. Yes, penguins. <laughs> I also coach a net, net set go team, which is a team full of any ages ranging from six to nine years old. I've also been asked by a couple of representative clubs to play for them on the state age weekend. During the summer I play ne indoor netball and Oztag. Sorry. I have a job at a pharmacy called Blooms the Chemist. I'm a pharmacy assistant. I live with my mum Barbara, my dad Paul, my brother Brendan, my two dogs Max and Belle and three chickens in a little town called Wilberforce near the Hawkesbury River. I would firstly like to say thank you again to my family for taking me in and making me feel so welcome in the short period of time I have been here. 
Okay, well, I'm here. <coughs> Sorry again. I get to know you all better and have an amazing time. Thank you, Sister City Association, for allowing me to have this experience. <laughs> or as some people call me Beth, BB, although most people just call me Beth. While on the subject of school, I'm, in, I'm a senior in year 11 at Hawkesbury High School. There's only about 600 students at my school in total, so it's pretty small. My favourite subjects would have to be drama, but I also like art. I'm 16 and my brother Ben is 13. I honestly had no clue that teenage boys at 13 years of age could manage to be taller than you and eat every piece of food in the house. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite things to do would have to be reading, sleeping and of course eating. My favourite is chocolate. <laughs> I live on two and a half acres with my parents, Laurel and Craig, and of course my brother, my grandparents, Janice and Les, and my two spoiled dogs, Bella and Russell. I'd like to thank my host family for taking me in and making me feel so welcome and also I'd like to thank the Hawkesbury Sister City Association along with Temple City Association for this once in a lifetime opportunity to live as an American for four weeks and I'm definitely going to make the most out of the trip as I can. Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Newton but you can all call me Bella. I'm 16 years old and my birthday is on the 23rd of April. I have six people in my family, my dad, mum, Jasmine, my oldest sister, who is 22, Eliza, who is 21, and my brother, and he is 13. I live in the Hawkesbury in a suburb called Oakville, which is about an hour away from Sydney, depending on the traffic. I live on five acres, and my mum likes to tell people that we live on a farm, because we have two horses, chickens, two cats, and have lots of ducks and, and rabbits along our long driveway. My school is called Arndale Anglican College and is five minutes from my home. My favourite subjects are dance and English. Arndale is a private co-ed school that is split into junior and senior. In the junior school there is 500 and in the senior school there is 500 students. During the week I have seven classes, two netball games, a fitness class as well as my homework and assignments. The weekends are just as busy. I have dance practice and competitions, assignments, and you can't forget shopping. <laughs> during, <laughs> during the summer, I also spend a lot of time at the beach unit practicing to surf and trying to relax. My hobbies include taking photos, shopping, and watching movies. Some random facts about myself is that I like to eat cheese, sleeping in is at the top of my to-do list, and I like to draw. I flew overseas for the first time last year, and I traveled to England and Europe. The trip inspired me to travel to more places around the world. I have always wanted to come to America, and especially California, and to go to American school. I am very grateful to be involved in this exchange program and excited to experience an American lifestyle. I would, like just, I would just like to thank, you, thank the Sister City Association for organizing this program and for the Thomason family to, for hosting me. I hope to get to know many of you and have the best time I can have in this enjoyable and amazing country. Thank you. Hi, my name is Isolde Okamura Jones, but if it's easy, you can just go ahead and call me Dolde. I'm 16 years old and currently in year 11, which I'm pretty sure is the Aussie equivalent of a junior. I go to St Paul's Grammar School, which is a medium-sized K-12 private school, which is about 1,100 students, and I especially enjoy film and history there. I live with my mum Lucia and my dad Tony, and I'm an only child, but it doesn't really mean my house is ever quiet, what with our two dogs, four horses, and little rascal of a cockatiel named Adam that pretty much rules the house with an iron fist. <laughs> I like a lot of TV shows, books, and anime, and sometimes attend pop culture conventions in Sydney with my mates, where we dress up in cosplay, browse through stalls, and listen to talks and workshops. My hobbies include drawing, writing, and to some extent singing, though for the sake of your ears, I'm not going to demonstrate that now. <laughs> I also enjoy horse riding, and I have a handy little Aussie stock horse who I compete with in show jumping, eventing, polo cross, and sporting. I also sometimes show jump on the huge tank of a thing that is my mum's dressage horse. I've always wanted to come to the United States, and I feel very privileged to have had the opportunity to come with my fellow Hawkesburians. 
So I'd really love to thank my host family and everyone from the um, Sister City Exchange Program, as well as both the Hawkesbury and Temple City Councils for allowing this wonderful experience to happen. I'm really excited about the rest of this trip and I'm, like, I really hope that I get to meet new people and make new friends. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon everyone, I'm Lachlan Werner, I'm 15 years old and from Australia. I live in a small rural town called Glenory, which you've most likely never heard of. I live with my mum, her fiancé, my one-year-old baby brother, who's very cheeky, grandma, grandpa, and I have four small, mostly harmless dogs. I also live with my dad and his fiancé, and my baby sister, who was only born this year, in an area called The Ponds. I go to school at Arndale Anglican College in the Hawkesbury, and have been there since kindergarten. It's been there that I've been able to perform on stage and learn about the art of public speaking and drama, which is a hobby of mine. I've been in numerous in and out of school productions and drama competitions where I recite poetry and dramatic monologues because I live a wild lifestyle. <laughs> I have no plans of stopping this anytime soon. I've wanted to come to America because it seems that everything in America is opposite to Australia. From my past two visits to the country, I've noticed that most things about the American lifestyle are different to the Australian. And while on holiday, I never got to fully experience these changes. And that impacted my decision on wanting to discover what it's like to live in America. The Sister City Student Exchange Program has now given me this amazing opportunity for me to discover more of this great country, great state, and great city. For that, I am sincerely grateful to both Sister City Associations, the Hawkesbury and the Temple City one. I would also like to thank my host family, the Wongs, for offering their home and their care to me over the coming month. I look forward to living the American lifestyle in this great community of Temple City, and from what I've seen so far, I expect, I expect extraordinary things to come. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sophie Henkel, and I am 15 years old, and I'm in Year 10 at Arndale Anglican College. I live in a small town named Oakville, and live on Henkel Road, where the road is named after, named after my family. In my family, there is my dad, Daryl, my mum, Melissa, my older sister Ellie, and my older brother Jack. I live on five acres and am a full-on animal lover. We have dogs, cats, horses, chooks, ducks, and I have a pet pig named Tallulah. On weekends, I love to ride my horse and often compete in horse riding competitions. I love to cook and create delicious food for my family. I love to hang out with my friends and go shopping. During school, I love to be involved in drama productions and my favourite subjects are commas and maths. I'd like to take this, the time now to thank my host family, the All Reds, for welcoming, welcoming into their loving home. I'm extremely appreciative. I'm honoured to, I'm honored to participating in the Sister City program and to be involved in this once in a lifetime opportunity. While over here, I'm keen to be an active member of an American family, go to an American school and go sight, sightseeing, but most importantly, make some new friendships. Thank you.
Cuckoo cry, hey, your life must be. Cuckoo cry sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, cuckoo cry, stop, cuckoo cry, leave some there for me. All together now, tiny kangaroo down, spot, tiny kangaroo down, tiny kangaroo down, spot, tiny kangaroo down. Take me collar back, Jack, take me collar back. He lives somewhere on the track, and that's it, take me collar back. Do you come from a land down under where the women blow and men thunder? Can you hear? Can you hear the thunder? You better run. You better take cover. Give me a home among the gum trees with lots of plum trees, a sheep or two and a kangaroo, a close one out the back, veranda out the front, and an old rocking chair, and an old rocking chair. <laughs> Yes. On behalf of the Hawkesbury Sister City Council, please like to present these gifts to the people. Yes. So, Steve Terry, would you like to call him and get this? Uh, Mitzi Franco. <laughs> Safer because I'm afraid that those snaps aren't real strong. Yeah. But uh, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just put them on the rings, and that way it won't it won't put it in the ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There, you go. There, you go. there we go. Yeah. So. Okay. Huh? Thank you. Yeah. Would anybody? Does anybody have any questions for them? Yes. Oh, yes. yes, Nancy. How many of you have been to California before? Three of us. Three. 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 Yeah. Six. And how many of you, those three, have you been to Disneyland here? Two. Oh. Two. All right, you so you two don't go to Disneyland then. You must go to Disneyland. California. Yeah. 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 For the ones who have never been here, do you have an idea of what you perceive as being here? whether it's movie stars walking around the streets all the time, or what you guys have heard about California or Southern California, all the surfers, all the blondes, or something like that. We actually have an ad at home, and it's about California, and it's saying that you all have your heads in the cloud, and you all ride really oh, big like bikes, and yeah. Pretty sure there's a couple celebrities on the ad, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you see celebrities walking around. Like, oh, California that ad, that yeah. one. Yeah. 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 And everyone, like, Jet boat riding. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do that here in Temple City. Yeah. <laughs> when it rains, well. <laughs> what does it do that? It doesn't. <laughs> and is there anything, like each one of you, do you have one thing you really want to see or do while you're here? Yeah, I've heard that you've already been to our famous establishment town, the 99 cent store. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been. Been. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've been to the Hawkesbury Sister City Council. Yeah. 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 Ye
Stop. We'll make a point of letting you stop there. Does anybody else have any, any questions? Question? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait a minute. What do you, what do you guys ask some questions? <laughs> yes, Bailey. What's your favorite type of cheese? <laughs> Just the normal cheddar one. <laughs> oh, what's the weirdest thing you guys have come across like in America that like the what? toilet? The, the toilet. toilet. <laughs> They, they swirl, they don't swirl. But it's like, no, no, no. It's like an airplane. Yeah. And you just step yeah. on it, yeah. not, not, yeah. not you should hear. Yeah. 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 At school. At school. That's at school. So. Some. We don't use it. Because it's a button. There's a button on top. At school. What do they have? You use your foot. Yeah. 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 So you don't use your hands. I love that. I love that. Someone asked, when friends are like, for the American homes and most Australian homes and the establishments, they have water conservation installed type toilet flushing systems where there's two different buttons that you can push on the top, on the tank. So they're already ahead of us in regards to conserving water. Someone, someone asked me if they have Vegemite uh, burgers at McDonald's. They sell Vegemite burgers. They don't. No, we don't. They don't. They don't. No, no. Oh, you don't. No, no. no. So how did you find out very unicorns at school? Oh, yes. We didn't We're all excited about that one. Yeah. Of course, of course, the big question that everybody seems to always ask, and Nancy and I laugh about it, could you guys say something in Australian? <laughs> Good day. How are you? Good day. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Good day. What you up to? The veggie shrimp. Koala. Koala. Any chocolate shrimp on the barbecue? No, potato shrimp. It's a steak. What? Yeah, they're chocolate. No, no, but, uh, stick in the barbie. Yeah, barbie. Oh, and you guys say McDonald's or Mickey D's, but we say Mackers. Mackers. Yeah, Mackers. Yeah. Everybody Mackers. says Mackers. Like, you Mackers. walk into Mackers. Tell them how we say our yes. R's. Welcome, Welcome to Mackers. Mackers. How are you? What would you like? Emma. 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 Now, Rachel, you said you have a job. Do any of the rest of you have jobs? Highly unemployed. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and I work in a chemist, but it's your pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I was telling my host family that I work at the chemist, they're like, "You work at a chemist?" I was like, "Yeah, what's your chemist to our chemist?" So, <laughs> yeah, but our chemist is a pharmacy, so like, like tablets and stuff. Amber has a question. Bethany, what's your name? Bella. My dogs are called Bella. Like, a lot. It's called Bella. Oh, that's right. And, and Lachlan, we understand that from Nathan that you have a nickname. Uh, <laughs> oh, Patty. Because <laughs> um, my friend's mom, it's like Lachlan Lock and like a lock and like a padlock, and that got shown down to Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Only she calls me, and now Nathan calls me. <laughs> And Nathan, why are you blushing? <laughs> oh, that's right. oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Nathan told me I wasn't supposed to talk. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Well, I'll tell you, you know, if impressions, you know, first impressions are, are worth anything, uh, our, our impression, or at least my impression of this group, is that we're going to have a lot of fun for the next month. They are. Really, they, they seem to be a really good group, um, and it's going to be fun. So we get we get them a couple days too. So we're we're, we're excited. <laughs> so.